Hi guys, hello boys and girls, and hello my dear fellow foreign language speakers. That's me, Robbie from EnglishHarmony.com, obviously, and welcome back to my video blog. In this video, I'm going to address a particular issue raised by one of my blog readers. He emailed me 10 hours ago, to be more specific, and he's asking me what is the best way to go about the shadowing method, right? And for those of you who are not really familiar with this method, just to let you know, shadowing is when you are watching some video content such as a film, a movie, TV program, a talk on YouTube, whatever, right? You are basically consuming audio visual material and then you are imitating that person that you're listening to. You are basically copying them by repeating their speech, you know? And that way you are actually accomplishing two goals at the same time. First of all, you are wiring that uh, uh, natural speech pattern into your brain and in your mouth, which is very important, not just your brain, not just listening, but also in your mouth by repeating it. And also you are training your pronunciation, which is also very important, right? Well, it's not of the utmost importance, because my opinion is that uh, you can be fluent enough speaker even with terrible pronunciation, right? But obviously we all want to achieve a certain level of fluency which would incorporate um, bettering our pronunciation to a certain degree as well. Anyway, this particular person has the following concern. Quote, um, I'm considering news or TED, you know, the TED talks where motivational speakers are talking about all sorts of different uh, issues, but TED is too difficult and I can't recognize the speaker if, if they have a British accent or American accent. Okay, so let's stop right there. TED is too difficult. What you've got to do is you've got to find a speaker that fits your particular needs, you know? If that speaker is too fast, you know, if you, if you can't, if you find it difficult to make out what they're saying, just dismiss it, you know? Browse through dozens of, of different TED talks and surely you will come across it someone right and they don't have to be a native english speaker you can start listening to a to some foreigner you know there are a lot of fluent foreigners out there who would be speaking somewhat slower and uh, probably more, they would be more understandable than a native english speaker you know i i, I find that uh, oftentimes to be the case so uh yeah so first of all you got to do some work till you find the right video to listen to obviously if you jump on, onto the first one Yes, that's probably not going to be the best one for your needs, you know, so you got to do some work there. And speaking of the accent, it doesn't matter whether they have a British accent or American accent. For all intents and purposes, what you're trying to achieve here is just improve your fluency, you know. So whatever person you're imitating, for as long as they are a native English speaker or a foreigner who speaks very fluently, it doesn't matter. You are going to copy their speech patterns and bettering your English, that's all that matters, you know? It's not as if you are going to pick up that accent, you know? And uh, it'll become your second nature and then you're not gonna be able to get rid of that accent. It's all a myth. People don't just pick up accents, believe me. There's a hard work required, you know? A lot of tough tough work and uh, effort to be, to be put into that process in order to acquire specific accents, you know? So, news audio file is too general and boring accent and the story is pretty boring for me in general. Okay, then just dismiss it. If, if something is, is, is not interesting, it, 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 if it doesn't capture your attention, just dismiss it, you know? Uh, maybe you know Conan O'Brien show, don't you? Well, I don't know him. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. And then he says uh, he wished if he talked a bit slower. I get you. Some speaker that you find interesting talks somewhat too fast or whatever. But then you have another option. You can go with subtitles, okay, which is actually not something that I would suggest, but as a, a way of kickstarting your um, shadowing routine, yes, you can do that, you know. But basically the, the point is that the, the key point that I'm trying to make is you have to find someone who suits your needs, your requirements, your comprehension abilities, you know? There is no point in complaining that I don't like this, I find this too difficult. Just go and find what you like and what's not too difficult. Surely you can uh, find a video where the person talks about something that you're interested in 
and they are speaking in an easy to understand way. It doesn't have to be a TED talk. You can just simply go on to YouTube. You know, that's the biggest resource available to everyone pretty much for free these days for as long as you have a broadband connection. And you can just uh, type in whatever you're interested in, be it uh, the latest, I don't know, gadgets and the latest graphics cards or computer games or dinosaurs or... Uh, I don't know, Donald Trump's election and whatever it is, you know what I mean? Just type in that topic and surely you will find some video that you will find um, easy to listen to, you know? It does take a little bit of research, you know, 10, 20 minutes, whatever, but surely eventually you will come across something that is very interesting to listen to, easy to understand, and then you can mimic that, you know? Shadow, repeat after them, you know, pause the video, go back, repeat that sentence again, that's the way to go okay now um then he says that he he's going to write down what he listened to and let me just uh, give you a nice little tip here you don't have to write it down afterwards it is something that you can do but here's the trick you can actually write it down as you're listening you just keep pausing the video and write it down write it down and that way you're going to deal with the concern that you're raising further down in the email. And then he needs somebody to correct his mistakes, grammar, blah, blah. If you just write it down as you go along, as you watch the video, you're not going to need anyone to correct your mistakes. You're going to be able to copy those naturally occurring speech patterns. And, and then you can actually do this exercise. You can, you can talk about it after. So you can, you can shadow on the go. Then second time round, as you watch the video, you can write it down and then you can actually talk about it. Okay. So writing down would be dictation. Okay. It'd be the same as someone were to say something to you and you would write it down, you know, or uh, someone talking to you, audio, video, it doesn't matter. You, you're just uh, exerting your comprehension abilities and then you're, you're writing it down. You may want to click on this link here where I'm talking about the benefits of dictation. And after that, you can you can talk about it based on what you just listened to. So first of all, you're mimicking, you're shadowing, then you're writing it down to train your writing skills as well, you know, but you've got to understand that that's a different skill set altogether. Writing isn't the same as speaking. It's a completely different skill set. Okay, don't don't think that the more you're going to be writing, the better you're going to be able to speak. It doesn't work that way. Speech, writing, comprehension, they're different skill sets. All right. So um, and then he goes on to say that if he had a tutor or native friend who could help him, it'd be great. But uh, but he finds that that method would force him to spend a lot of money. Basically, he would have to hire someone pay the money in order to, to teach him. And basically this person is trying to trying to get away with paying as little money as possible and still acquire great English uh, spoken spoken English ability, you know, fluency skills basically. The key is you don't have to hire anyone. You know, you can do it all on your own. You can do it all by yourself by following the tips and tricks that I just gave to you, right? Just find interesting videos to listen to that would suit your comprehension abilities. Do the mimicking, the shadowing, develop your fluency, write it down in order to develop your writing as well, and then talk about it to further improve, improve your fluency. And that's all you pretty much need. You know, you don't need anyone to actually correct you because there is this great thing called self-correction. You may want to Click on this link to read more about it. And uh, yep, that's about it. If you have any further questions, please feel free to publish them in the comments section below, my friends. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed my video response. Bye-bye.